Hello, my name's Marnie Blewett and I work at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research and I run a small lab that works on epigenetic control in mammals and I teach the same topic at the University of Melbourne. So what this course is about is the fundamentals of epigenetic control. So what is epigenetics? What does it mean? It's been a, top, it's been a word that's been used a little bit in the public press lately and a lot in research. So what we've known for decades is that all of the cells in our body have the same genetic information, the same book of instructions, if you like, and yet they can have so many different functions. And we understand now this is because not all of the genes are used in all of the cells at all times, but rather just a select few or a select subset of a few thousand are used at any one time. And this is enabled by marks that are known as epigenetic marks. The best way to think about them is a bit like punctuation marks in English. So just like in English, we have spaces between words, full stops or exclamation marks at the end of sentences or question marks. In, um, in the genome, we have full stops, spaces, question marks, and these are the epigenetic marks, just like punctuation marks. And they really allow the cell to be able to read the information that's there and interpret how it should be read. Should it be read a lot and therefore have an exclamation mark and out loud, or should it be switched off and not used and be covered with full stops? This is essentially what epigenetics control is about. And in this course, what I hope to teach you is how epigenetic control happens in normal development, some specific cases of how it goes wrong in disease, and to give you a broader understanding of how it might be manipulated therapeutically. And hopefully by covering in these topics, you'll be able to understand more about how it's fundamental to all of the processes for mammalian development, but also the development of other organisms. So I hope you'll enjoy this course.